And welcome everyone. This is round one, match three between Ta and HOLPL. I am Corporal Sparrow here with Corporal Strider. The afternoon. And I'm here with First Lieutenant Rob. Hello, everybody. We are on St. Mary Lee's. The center point is the church itself. A uh, bit of a size difference between the forces today. Ta is fielding around 30 people, whereas HLPL is fielding the max amount at 40. So it should be fairly interesting to see what happens here. Looks like I need to swap somebody. Yeah, I'm tracking. Uh, looks like they got it. I think they'll, okay. as they trickle in, they'll figure it out. So we'll just periodically keep an eye on the uh, numbers, make sure uh, everyone's on the right side. Alrighty, so once again, we're fighting over St. Mary Glees. So out of all the matches so far, we've had three St. Mary Glees and one, or actually, what's that? What was it one checkpoint, one hospice, and this is what the third St. Mary Glee strong point? It sounds about right. I think the maps tend to favor the middle point when they rotate to them. Like maybe it's weighted more to pick it. It's a one in three chance. RNG tends to just be RNG. Alrighty. And Here we off. go. And we're off. So. Tar getting it early with a supply truck with two uh, squad leads in it. They've got a full heavy tank and another supply truck in the north. Yeah, it looks like HLPL is doing similar. They're fielding a medium and a heavy and a supply truck rushing into St. Mare with two artillery pieces active. Looks to be a fair, like a fairly mirrored matchup to what we saw yesterday. Both flanks, north and south, are being covered pretty heavily. And nobody's and then the rush for the center point. Yeah, well, as we saw yesterday, this the point on the checkpoint side seems to still be the very best way to try to get in there and attack St. Mary Glees. So HLPL is getting their first garrison up right on that edge. I gotta say, this is a very uh, orchestrated effort because now that they've got that uh, garrison put up for Ta, Ta's got their garrison up and they don't really have anybody else spawned in at the moment. What's kind of interesting right now is it looks like both armor pieces from T from HLPL are both headed to that north side, the hospice side of the map. So it's going to be interesting. Is TAW sending anyone up that direction? On the north side? Like the yeah. hospital side? Yeah, there's a, there's a heavy tank heading down the road. Wow. Looks like LLP has finally started to push into it and are being responded to by Tau. Tau just mass, mass spawned, spawned in the middle of the point there on that garrison. I like it. Look at that massive wave. They're all in... They definitely want to hold that foothold that they got there. Yeah, they they definitely came in with the late spawn strategy of just sending up a few people to set up a spawn for everybody else. Yeah. Seems like it worked out for them. It's going to be just... HLLP had been just a bit faster on that getting up there. They probably wouldn't be able to hold that shirt. It's going to be tricky, though. Playing, I, I kind of like TW's strategy because I know they're down a couple. So they're like, all right, we're going to all out just zerg the strong point. Like, everything we got just to give themselves a chance. And actually, the cap seems to be going in their direction after early cap progress from T from HLP. HLP. Yeah, definitely. That artillery strikes are starting to do some work, too. And man, like, they're like, everyone into the church. I like it. I'm going to see this armor is rolling up here. Oh, the heavy tank got destroyed from... Uh... HLLPL. Oh, it was the Panther. So now they have a Tiger rolling around. Yep, and it's been spotted by uh, by Ta here and their heavy tank. Or I think it has. So how many spawns does H 
does TAW have right now? Because we're looking at a lot of OPs, two nice garrisons set up for HLPL. They've only got the one garrison, and they've got several OPs set up. I think they're banking on the... F okay, they've got two garrisons up. They've got one on artillery battery and one right behind the point. So it looks like the cap is slowly working its way towards TAW's favor as they've secured the church. They definitely have the closer spawn, with that garrison being just right over the line inside the city. Uh... Hello, HLLPL definitely has the longer way to run from their garrison, which is just east of Western Approach. Neither team looks to be wanting to risk losing their garrisons to the flip. But just due to map creation and where the point's laying, CAW definitely has the shorter run. It looks like now the cap progress is going back towards PL. Even with all forces. So right now, there's about a six-player, one-squad size advantage for HLPL. Which is probably Unfortunately, with just with that disadvantage of players, we're looking at a... Uh, was it a five- to six-player disadvantage towards Ta? It, it, that counts, unfortunately. Five players really do make the difference. I really want to see this bombing run come in There's along. The cap. That is the flip. However, TW still has a very strong fold. I mean, and they have the building oh, coverage. Oh, what are the bets on seeing, actually seeing a satchel charge go off today? Right. I think we'll actually see one on the church. I, there's no one around from... PL that might be able to do it and the fact of the matter is there's only one PL guy who's actually in the church tower which I'm surprised he hasn't been taken care of yet considering the ground floor is covered by Tao. I just realized he was in there and not behind it. I thought he was behind the church. He's a monster. He's just sitting we there looking at the stairs. I'm not even sure TAW knows that he's up there. I'm surprised that nobody said it in chat. Like, hey, there's a dude in the church tower <laughs> shooting at us. It Don't looks like he's about, about to wake his way downstairs here. Definitely looks like it. Doesn't look like TAW even though he sees here. Oh, oh he oh, wow. Yes. Out alive. <laughs> so this is pretty much the grind fest right now. With both teams smashing each other. It looks like HLPL might be starting to make a flanking maneuver around this checkpoint side, trying to get around maybe cemetery to alleviate that garrison pressure. Definitely. I'm pretty sure HLPL has spotted that garrison and that spawn. How are the OPs looking like for Ta along that point there? They're not bad. They've got at least three but they're all by the garrison and as it as a uh, dipico and machete close in like th they're gonna take out a lot of those gear those ops and may take out the garrison and yeah. if that happens the tiles lost his foothold I'm, I'm seeing now it's probably about the point where it's gonna start being overrun tw might have to start thinking about defense how are they looking on defensive garrisons They've got one behind artillery battery. Oh, but look at this. Cap progress going to TAW. But it looks like their garrison might be overrun in the backfield, which may prove to be a challenging setback for TAW. As long as they can get those outposts up and keep spawning in. Then... Yeah, okay. It's been marked by the enemy commander that there's uh, enemy infantry coming from exactly where the garrison's at. So they have the garrison mark, they know where it's at. And now we have recon elements taking out TAW artillery, along with a recon vehicle in the back lines of TAW. Yeah, I'm hoping to see that Maybe in the next round, TAW will pull in four or five more guys to get that even match because 
honestly, that was very close. That's that Zerg strategy seemed to work pretty well for him. And maybe if they just had that extra squad level amount of guys, you know, six guys out of forty is a significant percentage. Definitely. Overwhelming number. Now it looks Doesn't like... look like there's many fights going on elsewhere. Yeah. There's some small flanks going off near hospice, but it's mainly just a recon trying to break through. I don't think there's anything going on down to the south. Yeah, and HLPL is starting to strangle out the TAW's garrison. They got control in the cemetery. And they're pushing out the, uh, the church as well. Does TAW have anyone back on defense, or are they all out on the assault at the moment? Uh, most of them are on the assault. There's a group of, like, four on the defensive. And one of them's a recon element. Nice. They keep contesting the church. Yeah, there's a heck of a fight just going on just to the oh, east of church. Here comes a bombing run from HLPL. Ooh, that my that's friends, gonna be that's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that that might do it for that garrison. We shall see. It looks like that garrison. Yeah, I mean the garrison's overrun been overrun. Yeah, garrison's overrun at this point. Nobody can spawn on it. Ooh, right now, it's... looks like they're just trying to clear through all of the outposts in the backside. Oh, oh some but friendlies the are run. about to get. Oh, right on the outpost oh, on the spawn right too. Spawn. Ouch. I <laughs> feel for those guys. That's a tough one. Yeah, and that uh, that attack. garrison's gone now. It looks like the recon vehicle is in the back lines on the artillery battery. It's two squads for HLPL or something to attack. So now, I don't know, I'm feeling like if I'm TAW at this point, I'm probably thinking defense. Like, let's let's try to hold out, look for round two. You know, I think we got some confidence that being down five, we nearly made that middle cap contestable or capture it. And, you know, hopefully get a couple guys in for the round two, even it out and get it done. Ooh! Oh, there what, a run. what a bombing run! Yeah, what a bombing run. That's a good ten kills right there. That was right on point. Counting eight kills for that bombing run. Yeah, Ooh, nine Jesus. kills for that bombing run. <laughs> that was really good. That just stopped that assault in its track. However, we're starting to see capture progress on artillery. Uh, Strider, like, I'm going to go uh, take a look at artillery if you want to watch St. Mary. Well, I was already over here in artillery. Oh, that works. I'll keep an eye on St. Mary then. Yeah, artillery like is not looking good at all. Looks like about to take a tiger to the butt. Yeah, so that 76 went down. Nope, that was the Puma that just went down. The 76 is about to go down if this Panther can get over this fence. It is surrounded by AT, and it is seems to be it's stuck damaged. on the road. Looks like TAW is committed to doing a flanking maneuver right now on the church. Well, currently there is no TAW on artillery battery. The 76 just went down. And, uh... Yeah, they lost their garrison no that was there. They either need to really push hard in the church and try and tack, ca cap it, but I, I don't think they're going to win the cap race, even if they started now. Yeah, it there was too promising. With artillery battery, there's just no defense here. Got Mr. Snowkin from TAW holding down the church tower still, though. Yeah, there's a transport truck making its way up the road, but it's definitely been spotted. Yeah, pretty safe to say artillery battery is about to go towards HLPL. Very true. Don't forget, we need to start the timer here. Yep, once the cap, so we're probably going to be looking at about an hour in game. Almost exactly, yeah. Perfect. Yep, an hour exactly. <laughs> so let's announce that the TAW. Seems like TAW is starting to respawn and re in the center HQ. Looks 
Looks like armor efforts starting to push out. Maybe push up with this infantry, see if they can do something. Uh, Spare, you want to put a message out to TAW saying they have to recap? By one hour in game? Yeah, somebody on top actually was already on top of it. Like, we got to take this point. Yeah. So right now there's an entire squad from both teams on St. Mary's still. <laughs> Excuse me. Which is interesting. Yeah, they've got a... Uh... Start watching the squad up to the north. Uh, H3. Make sure they don't cross that line. Okay. You want to um, manage this further? Sure. Uh, is Coyote and... Uh... I can't say it. There's two recon. Coyote, T66, and yeah, yeah, they're they're recon. They're not spawn. It doesn't look like they're spawn camping. Yeah, they're no, just they're... trying to walk around. Yeah, they're good. So we'll see how TW goes trying to recapture artillery battery now. Need to get some Google Translate out here for <laughs> the, the for Polish. The Polish guys, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we might get some more 76 and Tiger action up here on the north side. Yeah. HLPL just marked up that 76. Yep. The tiger was looking for it and he's looked away. I'm not sure what that tiger is shooting at. He's trying to shoot. Uh, at the... They shot the tree. Oh, there's a tree. Oh. Yeah. It's like the ultimate game of oh, chicken. Look, and, and oh, look. Oh, the tower. Oh, there's an AT behind the tiger. Rut row. Ooh, that hurts. Just a little. I'm actually surprised he didn't go down right there with the oh, ATV right behind. Oh god. There we go. That ricochet. There oh, it goes. There it is. <laughs> AT went down, but the. Uh, looks like one of the crewmen jumped out and was able to save his life. We got another Puma inbound on artillery. Seems like TAW is doing a pretty good job winning those armor battles. Yeah, for the most part, their AT guys have been pretty on point with destroying armor. I want to see how long this crewman will last for. <laughs> Approaching the uh, almost the ten minute mark. This um, kind of goes to show how important it is to have equal numbers, if possible. Yeah, I mean, we were hoping with the forty versus forty, most teams would be able to field somewhat comfortably. But you know, things happen. You never know exactly who's going to be available. Taw definitely put up a good fight. Their reactions were just a little slow on the defense. I think, like, I love their beginning strategy. Like, I thought the fact that it was just two squad leads and a supply truck that just came up. They dumped one of the squad leads, just jumped out, placed the garrison down, and everybody spawned in on that. That's much more effective, I think, in the early game than trying to rely on several transport trucks getting to the front line comfortably. That's very true. So we're gonna announce the 10 minute warning. So they now have 10 minutes left to cap. And it looks like HLPL has a pretty commanding presence on the artillery battery. It's gonna be a really tough fight for TAW to retake this point. If they yeah. can get behind them like they're starting to do now, it might be a little bit easier. Yeah, but the Puma's there to respond to the Tau flank here. 
That's if the Puma actually knows what it's walking into. It might. It kind of looks like he doesn't know he's being surrounded. Well, Puma's about to get taken out here. Exactly. I don't think he was aware of all that infantry in that cornfield. It was really good cover for the infantry. Yeah, that's one thing that sounds super obvious when you're in the admin cam, because a lot of that foliage isn't rendering. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't even notice. You, you're like, wow, why aren't they shooting each other? Like, staring eye to eye, and it's that pesky corn. So I'll keep an eye on the on the border. Australia, if you want to keep an eye towards like crossroads, just keep keep those guys honest. It looks like they're doing a pretty good job. They um, are. It's just so far. It's tough when you're getting right on that edge. Yeah, I'm looking over there right now. Yeah, there's some people in the north here who are like towing the edge very much. Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, they're 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 staying honest. I mean, pretty much as long as you stay on that road, that that road's actually a pretty good marker for the for the line. Mm -hmm. So far, they've been pretty good with the rules. Yeah, and that's definitely something we haven't really had any issues with. Everyone's pretty good about staying in bounds and keeping it fair. Is there a taw element back at the church? I'm There's a recon the unit. HLLPL garrisons being overrun there. Yeah, there's a recon unit by the cemetery right now. Mm. Yeah, HLPL with a very commanding presence on artillery. Be nice, spread out. It's it'll be hard for Todd just to push through. They have so much that they have to contend with. Yeah, I mean, right now, the most it seems like the weakest point of contact is right on that border. Would be the most available opening. I'm curious. I'm surprised we haven't seen an airhead or something from TAW. Hey, I, just to address this, Lapa, I think, is going a bit far. Otfin definitely needs to be pulled Yeah, I back. got it. I got it. Hey, uh, mate, can you just drop back a little bit? You're a bit out of bounds. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah, they're on it. Yep, we're good. And then... Did you talk to the Lava. other guy? He died before I could do anything. Alright. Uh, give him a warning in text chat. Just be like, next time, he's, he will it will be a kick. Because he was pretty out of bounds. Uh, let me get this other guy. He's kind of close. Ones. And also, almost approaching the five minute mark. So, based on their resources, does HL Tango have enough to drop in their head? No. They've got 82... They, they're not generating anything but manpower, and manpower is at zero. So they've got 82 Oof. munitions left. Ouch. It's really so, the hard part with not being able to build nodes back here. Do they have 42 players? Well, two of us. There's two of us, so they're at 40. And they are at 34? Yeah.
Yeah, I just saw like one of the Tau guys like be like, they have 42 players and we have 35. It's like, no, you're yeah. at 35 via 40. Well, 34 via. Not sure what he's going to do with that bombing run. I don't know if he'll get it back in time to use it. They've got less than five minutes. Yep. Oh no, they're bombing uh, artillery battery right now. Or towers. Yeah. It's not the move here. I'm surprised they did it there, of all places. They have, like, plenty of good other spots to do it. I mean, at this point, you gotta try something, right? I guess so. They might swipe the garrison, though. Ooh, really close. Maybe. Oh, they got the garrison on point. Hey, there was a satchel that went off. Hey. He got two people. <laughs> I'm sad I missed it. <laughs> First satchel of the map goes to Machete. 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 There you go. TXC. Pull, gonna pull Cali in. Hey, uh, Cali, can you do me a favor and fall back? You're out of bounds, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Immediately turned around. Appreciate <laughs> you. Thank you. Good man. It's the Sky Whisperers, man. It's spooky. So spooky. <laughs> so we'll flip the map in two minutes. Um, maybe in about 50 seconds, just let both teams know. We'll flip the map and take a five minute break. And then we'll flip again for round two. Remember to emphasize that they don't leave the server so as not to lose their spot. Yep. The cool thing too about this tournament is like the most imbalanced matches we all expect in the first round. Like the first round is going to be the toughest, but as we go into the later rounds, I think we're going to see the matches balance out. Too. It's more equally, you know, people, you know, the teams that only can feel 35, 40. Um, we'll probably start to see them play each other in the falling rounds where the teams that are like at the 40 mark, solid, very competitive, are going to be playing each other. It's like Ta has been able to at least make them start looking back towards the west side of artillery battery. I'm seeing a lot of squads start to face towards the church and artillery. Yep, but with a minute 20 left, there's not enough time for them to recap artillery. No. So let's use this point to, uh, let's review the scores. Let's see. Rob has a defense score of 560. <laughs> oh, I'm, uh... So do I. Getting after it. TAW Tank Squad, 1,000 combat effectiveness. Good on you guys. Getting it done. They did a fantastic job. Even outnumbered in tank. Yeah, very well done. That Their tanks kept their team in the fight for sure. 40 seconds to the flip. Yep. So we'll do the double map flip, and then we'll take the little five-minute break. And we'll move players around as needed, and then we'll start round two. I can count it down for you. Sure. So that's going to be a 5 1 win for. Five seconds? Yeah. Three. Two, one, flip. So map flip one. And map flip two. There we go. So now. So 
So TAW should now be on allies and HLPL should be on Axis. Looks like the teams stayed pretty much the same. Oh, no, I take that back. So Let's see. TWs as allies, as you said, is what you said. Uh, hold on. TAW should now be allies, yes. Got a lot to flip then. Well, let's give them a second to organize. That's why we have the five minute. So is auto balance on? No. Shouldn't be on. It's just the the way. Yeah, it, it's off. It's just you know. The game's funny. So, T A W should be here. So T A W on allies, and then Axis should be H L P L. So I ended up on the T A W side. There's a lot of T A W on the Axis side. Yeah, let's just give them some time to self-adjust.